there was light coming from your window and after the hours of dark last night. Oh, it gets really dark this time of year and I like to keep up to date with the news. Quite enough, thank you. You'll pay a fine of four pounds. Four pounds? As an avid reader of the press, Mr. Slack, I am sure you're aware the bombs dropped on Warsaw were a narrow escape of Birmingham. Birmingham is the beating heart of wartime production. We must protect her whatever it takes. something as well. I've learned a few things. I know what to watch before It's such a nice thing and such a rewarding thing for children to be able to do. And it's it's unusual. Um, but it does give them confidence. Um, yeah, very worthwhile. For your king and your country both need you so we shall want you were actual quotes from correspondence during the war. I thought that was fascinating. And the venues themselves have been quite interesting as well, going around and seeing the different locations and being in the Penn Museum when you're hearing about the effect that the pen has had on that community. That's been great. Cool. ordered to make a bayonet attack on the German trenches. It was a criminal order on the man who ordered it. That's hardly surprising. 12.5 million letters were being sent every week. It only took two days for each letter to reach the front. And actually it wasn't just the children that were learning because I think everyone that was involved, uh, the audiences and the people that were helping out with it all learned a lot of things they didn't know about the jury quarter during the First World War as well. There were lots of facts and interesting things that came up, um, so that was new to a lot of people. It's been really ambitious and it's been uh, very successfully done. Uh, I've been really impressed at how um, 
we were such a, a, a small theatre company, if you like, this was pulled off quite a large community event. Brilliant, lovely. Keep the home fire burning.